What's up everyone? It's your girl Shay here and welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. And as you can see by the title of today's video, I'm talking about fan fiction again. And also, let me just point out, I have great natural light today coming in because I'm recording this earlier in the afternoon and not at like 4 or 5 p.m. in the evening. So thank God for that. But like I said, I'm talking about fan fiction today and specifically my topic is going to be what type of fanfics do you like to read? Now, what I mean by that is like, what type of genre do you tend to gravitate towards? What type of pairings do you tend to gravitate towards? Also, like what type of tropes do you tend to gravitate towards, if any? And are there any tropes that you might actually stay away from or any genres that you might try and stay away from or particular topics? Now, for me in particular, I'd be completely honest, I don't think I have a particular genre of fanfics that I tend to gravitate towards. Although I will say I do tend to like, I guess I do gravitate then, I tend to like a lot more fluff and maybe a little bit some on the uh, smuttier side when it comes to fanfics. I mean, I'm an adult, that's okay. But I think that's probably kind of what I tend to gravitate towards a little bit more when it comes to fan fiction. I'm not a huge, big person into like song fix, with, which honestly I don't believe are really around as much anymore. But I'm not really big into that. But as far as like other genres within like fan fiction, I don't think I gravitate towards a lot only because I really look at the plot of what I'm about to get into when I'm reading a fanfic or before I start reading a fanfic. And I really look at like what I'm into in that moment and it can definitely change. Just to give you guys a bit of an idea of what I mean about that. So there's there's a period of time currently where the fan fiction that I've been reading have mostly been a lot of like reverse harems. But now the current fan fics that I'm reading, because I'm reading two right now at the exact same time, one of them is vampires. And trust me, I'm not someone that was heavily into Twilight. That just so happens to be the fan fic I'm reading right now. And the second one is dealing with like some sort of virus or like a zombie apocalypse kind of situation in the fanfic. Both of them are amazing. I love reading both of them, but I honestly only happened to start reading these because of based off of one recommendations because I didn't know what to read next. And number two, just because I was like, hey, what would happen if these characters were put in a zombie apocalypse? I wonder if anyone wrote this kind of fanfic. And then I went looking for it. That's literally what happens all the time. And when it comes to like other ones like AU or versus like kind of like where the characters are still put into like their regular lives or like the regular scenarios that they're already in, I don't have a preference. I like both. Once again, it just depends on what I'm feeling that type of day or at the time that I'm searching for a fanfic. It really to me is like it's just endless with the amount of fanfics there are out there. So I can't really choose like what type of fanfics I like. Now as far as pairings are concerned, when it comes to like anime or fanfics based off of a fandom where there's already preset like pairings in place, I like the odd pairing. Like I like for Inuyasha, for instance, of course the main pairing that a lot of people tend to read or know about is Inuyasha and Kagome, Moroku and Sango, uh, and so on and so forth. Me, myself, though, I would read very odd pairings. And for some reason, a lot of the times if they were written well, I was like, I really wish these characters actually would have gotten together in the series. So like, for example, I'm a huge fan of the Sashomaru and Kagome pairing because I used to read those fanfics a lot and I thought they were amazing. And I even read one where it was really good, where it was Moroku and Kagome put together. Once again, didn't think that was going to happen, but it did. And honestly... I'm not sad about it and I actually really really enjoyed it. The same thing goes for like when I was heavily into like Bleach as well as like Naruto. A lot of the pairings I would read were pairings that I honestly wouldn't think of seeing like in the Bleach you know they had you know Renji and Orihime together which I didn't think would have happened or definitely didn't happen. And also I guess you can put Rukia and, or and Ichigo in there too since they ultimately don't end up together which I'm still kind of upset about. And then when it comes to Naruto, I read one where it was, I forgot who it was. I want to say it was Shikamaru and, so and Sakura that was put together. And I actually really enjoyed it. And I was like, oh, this is actually a really good fanfic. Like, I kind of wish they would have been together in the actual series. I'm sorry. There's like some hair in my eye or on my face. 
and it's bothering me. That's all right. Okay, it's gone. But yeah, I don't really gravitate towards anything, but I will say when it comes to pairings in an actual fandom, I do like gravitating towards the odd pairings only because, like, just because I don't see them together in the actual series, depending on how, like, the scenario that they're put in or depending on how the writer is writing their personalities, after a while, I can honestly see these characters fitting together. Some of them are a little bit weird, but still, they're not bad, and I'm like, oh, well, you know, I wish they kind of would have been put together, but that's all right. They're not, but still, it's great to imagine to think about. Now, when it comes to, for example, like some of the fanfics I read are based off of actual people. I know some people find these fanfics very, very weird because they're based off of real people, based off of like, for example, celebrities. I don't find them weird, but I know some people do. So if you find them weird, even though I'm talking about them, you know, don't, comment anything crazy down below you know just respect what other people choose to read and you don't have to read it if you don't want to but when it comes to these ones i usually only read ones where it's the like someone makes an original character not so much that people are putting like two celebrities together now if it happens to happen during the series or during the book or during the fanfic that i'm reading because they decide to put like two characters together that are actual people which i may not usually agree with it's okay i feel like only because the actual pairing that's happening during the entire fanfic was based on is on an original character then I you know I don't so much have an issue with it it's only more so when it's just those characters and they're putting them together and I'm just like this is just kind of a little bit weird for me I kind of like it better when it's an like original character that they create but I only like my original characters that are created when they have flaws I hate when they're considered Mary Sue's and they like have no flaws whatsoever they're for some reason good at everything and they might have one character flaw but it's just the most stupidest character flaw that they have and they're not like a real person it's like they've done everything in their life they're good at sports they're good at everything and you're just like what are you bad at and i can't relate to you whatsoever so yeah that's the only thing that i don't like but overall as far as the time type of fanfics i like it's really just all over the place for me it depends on the day depends on the mood depends on what i'm looking for and sometimes sometimes i do gravitate towards you know topics and stuff like that that i won't generally read only because they're written so well that it's intrigued me enough to make me like want to read it like the plot has intrigued me enough but yeah what type of fanfics do you like to read if you read particular like if you read fanfics i know some people don't some people do some people find them weird that's all right too but if you do read fanfics what type do you like to read also uh like you know comment below you know what type you like to read if you like also comment maybe some recommendations in case people are scrolling through my comments and are looking for fanfics to read i'm actually really okay with that and yeah i will have a new video for you guys soon this video will come out on christmas i know my last video i said will come out on christmas but for some reason my brain wasn't working that day so yes this video will be out on christmas so happy holidays merry christmas if you are celebrating and whomever you are celebrating it with and I will see you guys next week on Wednesday with a brand new video. And links, links down below to all my social media accounts. I have an Instagram, a Twitter, and of course a TikTok. So please check me out on there and follow me if you like. And also if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And of course, please subscribe if you haven't already. And like I always tell you guys, stay positive, stay nerdy, and today's day and age, stay healthy. And of course, please stay safe. All right, you guys. Bye.